Hey guys and welcome to section 2 of where we look at classification with support vector machines. And in this section we're going to take a look at what is a support vector machine and when do we choose one. We're then going to look at implementing a support vector machine and finally we'll have a video on discussing a support vector machine. So this is video 2.1, when to choose an SVM. And in this video we're going to take a look at what is an SVM and when do we choose one. So what is an SVM? An SVM is a supervised machine learning algorithm that performs classification. So we need training data and we need to train the algorithm and then we classify the inputs based on our training. And what it is, is it effectively fitting a straight line in some data and such that we can separate out two clusters. And what we do is you fit a straight line such that the distance between the line and the closest data point is maximized. So then obviously, you know, we maximize robustness. So, and basically it's a robust way, you know, as I've just said, form classification, but you know, some of you might be saying, well, you know, what if you can't fit a straight line? What if it's a cluster surrounded by a circle of clusters? Well, what you can do is you can do something called the kernel trick, just like we did in PCA with principal component analysis. Um, where you can effectively map the data points to higher dimensions and you can fit a linear boundary between the two, the opposite of what we did in PCA really. And then with this, you can then fit a linear boundary and you can perform your classification very well. It's reasonably easy to implement and very straightforward and intuitive to get, but obviously, you know, it isn't always as robust and as accurate as possible. So, Thank you. I hope that gave you kind of a brief intuition into what an SVM is and when you use one.